December 22nd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Proverbs chapter 22 from the Old Testament. A good name is to be chosen rather than great wealth, good favor more than silver or gold. The rich and the poor meet together, the Lord is the creator of them both. A shrewd person sees danger and hides himself, but the naive keep right on going and suffer for it. The reward for humility and fearing the Lord is riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the path of the perverse, but the one who guards himself keeps far from them. Train a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn from it. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. The one who sows iniquity will reap trouble, and the rod of his fury will end. A generous person will be blessed, for he gives some of his food to the poor. Drive out the scorner, and contention will leave. Strife and insults will cease. The one who loves a pure heart, and whose speech is gracious, the king will be his friend. The eyes of the Lord guard knowledge, but he overthrows the words of the faithless person. The sluggard says, There is a lion outside. I will be killed in the middle of the streets. The mouth of an adulteress is like a deep pit. The one against whom the Lord is angry will fall into it. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far from him. The one who oppresses the poor to increase his own gain and the one who gives to the rich both end up only in poverty. Incline your ear and listen to the words of the wise and apply your heart to my instruction. For it is pleasing if you keep these sayings within you, and they are ready on your lips, so that your confidence may be in the Lord. I am making them known to you today, even you. Have I not written thirty sayings for you, saying of counsel and knowledge, to show you true and reliable words so that you may give accurate answers to those who sent you? Do not exploit a poor person because he is poor, and do not crush the needy in court. For the Lord will plead their case and will rob those who are robbing them. Do not make friends with an angry person, and do not associate with a wrathful person, lest you learn his ways and entangle yourself in a snare. Do not be one who strikes hands in pledge, or who puts up security for debts. If you do not have enough to pay, your bed will be taken right out from under you. Do not move an ancient boundary stone which was put in place by your ancestors. Do you see a person skilled in his work? He will take his position before kings. He will not take his position before obscure people. God, I'm not a parent. Well, I'm not a DNA parent. <laughs> Uh, you have blessed me by allowing me to hang out with a lot of kids and talk to them and do things with them and uh, be a part of their life in ways that I never thought I would have that chance. And I truly thank you for that. It's a very surprising blessing in my life. In Proverbs, there's quite a bit in Proverbs talking about relationships, uh, including relationships with your children. And in Proverbs 22, we see more of that including how you raise your child, will have an effect on how they act, whether good or bad. And that by nature, children have folly in them. What a great word, have folly in, in their hearts, but the rod of discipline will drive it far from them. God, I just want to pray today for parents. I know that that's a hard job, and I know that I, I don't realize how hard that truly is, but I do know it is a hard job. And I just pray that you provide them strength, that you provide them instruction on how to raise up these children. And in times when that rod of discipline has to happen, God, I just pray that they're not timid in that. It seems like parents are so worried about what kids think of them nowadays that they would rather be friends with them. I actually had a couple of parents tell me, but I want them to be friends with me. I want them to like me. Uh, allow them to have the strength of love coming from a place of love wanting the best for your child and I know these parents do but I also know that this is a really hard job and sometimes disciplining your child is a lot of hard work especially depending upon the child 
but I do know that without that strength, without that discipline, without that structure, without that boundaries, that that child is going to have a really hard time. And, and I've seen that firsthand where the child is not truly punished for what they have done as a child. Uh, and it's allowed to escalate and escalate. And I've actually heard parents sound baffled as to why their child is acting out in certain ways. It's because of those boundaries, because those structures aren't in place. And we actually, even as adults, gravitate towards structure and plans and knowing our boundaries. We actually like that. <laughs> so when things get squishy with our boundaries or people don't have boundaries or are passive aggressive with us, we get really confused. Uh, those relationships are very difficult. So God allow these parents to have the strength in them to, out of love, discipline their children raise them up in the way that would be pleasing to you providing them strength and compassion and grace and mercy so as they grow into adults they can then pass on those same things to other people again god i'm i'm not a parent so i don't know all of this i don't have it all figured out and i certainly don't sit here in judgment or as authority in in any of this whatsoever uh, but i do know what your word says and God, I just pray for grace and peace for these parents. I pray for extra strength and guidance on those times where they're exhausted. And I pray that they will have the right answers to show their child and the knowledge that they need to show them the path that you have for them. God, I pray for all parents who are currently parents and all parents that will become parents in the future that raising up your children here on earth is one of the hardest jobs and I just pray for commitment and compassion and endurance for them God thank you for all of these blessings that you've given us including these amazing children who can go on to have incredible hearts for you and show love to the world we pray all this in your son's name amen